splayed and quilled. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I want you to take it easy. Just relax and watch how I create a Santa Claus. But before to start, a quick message. Hello everyone. Before we start this new tutorial, I wanted to step out of my hiding spot and wish you in person a happy new year. I really hope that 2022 is going to be a little kinder to all of us. But most importantly, I hope that 2022 is going to bring you a lot of laughter, a lot of joy and a lot of success in whatever you do. So let's get back to the tutorial and uh, when it's over I guess my next video will be next year so <laughs> let's get back to the tutorial <laughs> bye create a new file in the predefined uh, drop-down menu choose the US letter 300 ppi option Click on the Content tab. Now click on the background color window to open the color wheel. With your left mouse button, slide the cursor toward the top of the pyramid to slightly darken the background. Click OK when done. Leave the Layers option to 1 and click on Create. Before the start of sketching, make sure to lock your background layer. Create a new paint layer, rename it if you want, it's a totally optional. Grab your pencil brush. If you look at the tool options docker, you will see that my stabilizer is on. To sketch, it's always better to have the settings set to none. On the first layer, start drawing your shapes. Here what you are trying to do is decide how your character is going to pose. Will he be standing or sitting? Will he have his arms up or down? You get the drift. Decrease the opacity of your first layer to about 40% and create a new layer above it. Here you are going to start adding details. Uh, now remember, nothing needs to be perfect at this stage. Uh, you are in the developing process. Uh, it's always uh, messy and ugly. As you add uh, more layers, you will have plenty of opportunities uh, to correct and refine your lines. Time to decrease the opacity of this layer and create a new one on the top. I am going to repeat the process as many times as needed. Decrease the opacity of your layer and create a new one. You can decrease the size of your sketch if you need to. Remember that you can change your mind at any moment. Now that the image is smaller, I can finally create the hat. Mm -hmm. 
you can test a few things too. I am going to draw some stars and uh, some uh, mistletoes. If I don't like them, I'll just uh, remove them later. Now, uh, Santa usually carries a bag, uh, so let me draw it uh, very quickly. Decrease the opacity of your layer as usual and create a new layer on the top. Using the inking brush, I am going to start and trace my line art. You may want to turn back on the brush stabilizer at this point, by the way. But this is your choice. As you trace, uh, you can uh, still make uh, changes. Here I decided, for instance, uh, to hide his uh, ear under his uh, long hair. Click on the letter M on your keyboard to flip your image. Flipping the image is a great way to catch mistakes. When you are done with your sketch, you can color your character, add some background and text if you want. Now don't overdo it, I have noticed with experience that less is always better. You can also decide to just use the sketch. You are in charge, just remember, the most important thing here is that you have fun doing this. And we are done for today. As I said earlier, I'll see you in 2022. I wish you all the best. Happy holidays and a happy new year. Et pour mes téléspectateurs français, je vous souhaite à tous une bonne fête de fin d'année et une bonne et heureuse nouvelle année. Bye, au revoir et à bientôt.